The topology show as this picture. Make sure that Volta 1 has internet connection. And make a note of the Rotor 1's information. After that, you can set up the Rotor 2 now. Step 1. Hardware connection. Firstly, power on the Rotor. Secondary, connect one of the rotor's LAN ports to computer by a cable. Step 2. Set up the rotor 2. Open the browser on your computer. Type 192.168.0.1 in the address bar and then press enter. The developing password is admin. Type in admin and then click OK. Click on Advanced. Click Advanced and then click LAN Settings. Change the IP address to 192.168.1.1. Click OK. Click OK. The router will reboot automatically, please wait a minute. Log in the setting page again. Click on Advanced. Click Wireless and then click Wireless Extender. Choose WISP. Click on Open Scan. Choose the SSID of your uplink router. The SSID and channel will be shown automatically. Choose the security mode of your uplink router. Input the security key of your uplink router and then click OK. The router will reboot automatically. Click on Advanced. Check the connection status. If it shows connected, that means the WISP function setup is successful. Click Wireless and then click Wireless Basic Settings. After finish WIS settings, default SSID will become secondary SSID automatically. You can change it as you want. Click OK. Click Wireless Security. Select the secondary SSID that you have changed just now. Choose the WPA settings as disabled. Change the security key as you want. Security key should be 8 to 63 characters. Click OK.